you what it do what it do it's your boy OJ the juice and I'm back with another video it's been a while that's my fault but I'm finally getting back to the devil in me that's my fault my fault I'm sorry it's been a while I don't know how long it's been it could have been like Fucking two weeks, maybe. It could have been like two weeks. Two weeks, I think. Two weeks. Sorry, but we about to get right back into the flow. Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the back, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. Okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train oh, to shit. get there. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine. I'll drop it. Great. Let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Mark. Why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean... They all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. I can't. This is just proving harder than I thought. I don't want to be the one to. And I quote to accept the reality that this did not and will not work. Sound familiar? Just because I said it doesn't mean I want to accept it. So try harder. Yeah, I work for that pussy, my boy. Oh, look, word. let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. Oh, you're only my asking God. me because your sorry, arms are too short sorry, for a good sorry. selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> yeah, I work for that poon tang. Where right? to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. I'll walk fast again. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's. So I could just take random photos. Smart. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Well, damn. You Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. Or I feel you, I was my worried boy. you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? There's something back here. Take a picture. 
That room is mad weird. Oh, boy. Oh, damn. That's what 4K look like? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, not the, oh wait, there we go. That's an interesting one. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? <laughs> What the fuck? Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Who else jumped with your boy? Not the type that'd be like, oh my god. It's only a couple games that had me like that. Like, oh. Pause and read. Pause and read. I know I just got off work to start cranking out these episodes. I said, you know what? Let me do this. Let this me takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> I'm like, let me use this time wisely. Let me put in some work for my YouTube. Let me stop playing. Let me seriously stop playing. But you want to know what my problem is? It's like, because I don't see instant results. It's like, I just say, fuck it. And just stop caring. Go extend, nigga. But yeah, it's like my problem is I be wanting some instant results. I be wanting to see like fucking hundred views on one video. I know it take time, it take consistency, it take all that good shit. But it's like when you don't look at this wallpaper. But yeah, it's like when you don't see it, it's like oh, it's like. Am I wasting my time? This is old as hell. Everything here is old. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet. What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. 
read a book. Do you think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? Hmm. Hmm. I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Looks like... Two men is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. How the fuck are you supposed to get through? Old house. Island beaches with dead fish. Animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as yeah. hell. But yeah, like I was saying, I be wanting like instant results and shit. Let me get a hundred views today, boy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. When I finally get my first, like, on my shorts, I be getting like a hundred views. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, what's the shit? Yeah, it's like make it fit, make it fit. Just let one of my series hit a hundred. Just one. And I'd be grateful for just a hundred views, you feel me? Keep your head down. Cause then that shows me that my hard work is actually fucking paying off. Well, damn. Somebody jump out that door. Somebody jump out that door. Y'all gonna hear me scream like a bitch. Like I said, it's only one game that got me like that. And that's Outlast. Why oh, you think it's only like two videos? It's not because like how the other games be where I just like don't finish? Nah. This is different. Outlast is different. I don't even know what I'm taking this to. Should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. Ah, uh, then I gotta pull it back and put it over there. Man, he acts for a lot, bro. Ah. 
Ah, I got the swivel, you feel me? That's for those of you that play Zelda. Whenever you get something right, they make a noise. That's the noise. Everything is fucking locked, bro. Like, what am I missing? Seriously, what the hell am I missing? The camera angle is too fucking tight. I can't see what I'm looking at. You can do this. I'm smart, you feel me? Yeah, I think that's my only issue. It's the camera. It'd be too tight for me. Got it. Right there. Too tight. I was about to say, if this door don't fucking open and I gotta go all the way back, I'm gonna be pissed. Now what, my baby? Where we going? Wait, where are we going? Went there. And why you keep looking? Move! Candy, I'm eating candy, I'm eating candy. So if you hear anything, that's my candy. Whoa. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Kate, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H.H. H. Holmes. You really want to touch that shit, my boy? <laughs> oh. Fuck. You okay? No. I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, nice Charlie, friend. it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I 
I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Damn, my relationship with her Doesn't is matter. Going. One way or Man, another. Hold up. I am moving on from Lana Entertainment. I guess I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect- I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Kate! Mark! Dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, on our way! Great. Did he hear us? Obviously, Mark. Boy, he's a fucking weirdo. What the fuck? Hey, guys. <laughs> Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. <laughs> him not showing certainly tracks with every other lawn at Entertainment Inside Source. Come on, Kate. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Dinner time! Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be a mistake. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. It must be his kid, right? Didn't he say something about family? I don't remember. Either way, why did they leave? Does that mean we're the only ones here? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. Hmm. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Or maybe he's just plain crazy. It wouldn't be the first time Charles booked an expert who's nothing more than a serial killer groupie. Not that I want to agree with you, like, ever. <sighs> but that's what I've been saying. Demet is no damn good. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, 
So when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm. Oh, God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop Jamie trying to make on this worse? something. You're not helping. Okay, He's fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? <laughs> we just gonna <laughs> sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? Maybe if we all just sit here quietly and wish really hard, the magical post-production pixies will just assemble a cut for us and send it to the network. <laughs> Let's raise a glass to the post-production pixies and Charlie's brilliant plans. He's over them. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. <laughs> you brought it up. What was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 Nah, boy's a weirdo. Sorry.
Hello? Guys? Is that you? The fuck is that? Oh, they hear sound. She go in. Yo, I heard that shit again. That my shit vibrating. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure you send my pine box and cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Like a whole button right there. Oh no, that's a camera. That's a camera. Not gonna say nothing about the camera. Like, what do I do? He's really not gonna say nothing about the camera. That's a whole fucking camera, bruh. Aaron Ben not die. I actually like her. Am I bugging? Hold up. There we go.
my aunt be scared long. Then Anna won't be scared long. Almost fucking piss myself, bruh. Damn it. I really piss myself. Breakers. Ah, that's how it got dark. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Mr. Demet? I might say some shit right now. When he said shit. When he said it like that. Don't don't it sound like when you, you know, have a fun time with your girlfriend or your boyfriend and you know when shit hitting real different, you feel me? And it's about to be that moment, you just like yeah, like that shit. That I know I do that when that shit hitting. I just had that moment when I'm like, shit. Anyway, 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 my mind started going to the gutter. Sorry. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Pause and read, pause and read. Am I missing something from in here? Don't seem like it. It's locked. Like, what the fuck? Katie's getting creative with Charlie's script. Like it's literally one after another. If you don't find that weird, she's crazy.
Oh, she run. I like these. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? That's first and foremost. What the hell am I doing? Where is everybody else at while this is going on? Like, this place ain't that big for them to be... You know what? I don't... Pause and read. Pause and read. Like, am I missing something? Like, what the fuck? Locked. Grace. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Were Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Interesting. Damn, it's just paperwork everywhere. Oh wait, I forgot to turn around. It's paperwork everywhere, bruh. Damn. Wait, am I back in that room again? Yeah, I am.
Well, am I bugging? Don't work. And it's really dark without that flashlight, bro. Why them chairs set up like that? No, 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 no. Why them chairs set up like that, bro? Oh, nah. What the fuck? See, I'm hanging out at the edge. I ain't fucking around with this shit. <sighs> the breakers. No, seriously, what the fuck? I'm going in circles, bro. Like, come on. What am I, what am I doing? What, what? What's my mission? Turn on, turn on the power. Like, what the fuck? I feel like my patience is being tested right now. Like, what the hell am I missing? Seriously, what am I missing? That don't work. Hold on, I'm about to Google it. Hold on, hold on. God, 
something from this century. How was I supposed to figure out that code, though? I don't want them sheets of paper. I'm gonna go with that. I think I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. Damn it, don't start over? Thank you. Seriously, what the hell? Your boy smart. Does it work? Why they want me to inspect it? Why is that one looking at me like that? Am I? Shit, creeping me. To Bill for this. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes. Like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honeypot. 
Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Mon Pa Kettle, take a train in from Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet, all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times, I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while, I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was going to hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. But you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels. When you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Oh, God damn. That's some shit. Why are they store clothes? How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? Hey, hey, help! Somebody help me, I can't see a thing! I... Guys, guys, please! Aaron? I can't see a thing. The door is stuck. Break it open. It's not buzzing. I, I, I can't. I can't breathe. Relax. Slow, deep breath. In and out. Aaron, it's okay. We're right here. You're not hurt, are you? I need my inhaler. Okay. I'm having an asthma attack. What's your room number? I... Hurry! Charlie, where's the room? Next to mine, down the long hallway to you. Aaron, I'm going. I'll try to breathe slow and easy. <laughs> We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Who's there? Get away! 
away from me. He need the asthma pump, but I don't want to tell that's a big motherfucker. And she already about to pass the fuck out, so it's like, if I attack him, she's fucked. If I take it, still might be fucked. That's it? Okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he he was somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not. Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Oh, my God. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a he's... good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. All right, I'm going to end it right there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. But, wow. Peace.